Okay, so I am still sick. Um, you can probably hear it in my voice. And I but I wanted to make today's video, right? So I'm not gonna be on camera. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video here. Now, on TikTok, my DMs are open. And I might be doing something that I can't actually follow through with. But if anybody ever has a question uh, that they want to ask, maybe I've missed it in the comments or whatever, you can send me a DM. I try to respond to all of them that are asking questions about Genshin. So just, it's open, right? I might, again, I might, <laughs> I might get flooded with messages now, who knows? Anyway, uh, somebody that I was talking to about Zhao, we were talking about Benny, and I just wanted to take a moment to explain a little bit more in depth something about how Benny's burst works. So, um, if we go to Benny, you know, Benny is a fantastic healer, a fantastic attack buffer, uh, and he does that through his burst. So as you can see, my burst is crowned. I do have C6 Benny, so his level is 13 on his burst. Right here, it says if the health of a character within the AoE is higher than 70%, they will gain an attack bonus that is based on Bennett's base attack. Now, what is his base attack? Well, his base attack, if we go to his details, his stats, is this white number, this 865. It is not plus the green number. The green number comes from artifacts. It is not the green number. It is this, which is his base attack and the base attack of his weapon, which is why Miss Splitter is so good on him. It has, a, it has, I believe, either the highest or one of the highest base attacks in the game for a sword. Other good options are going to be like Skyward Blade, less base attack at level 90, but energy recharge, which is great. Um, Ally Flash is his best four star because the base attack goes into the 600s, which is very, very good. Uh, and then, or something like Sapwood. I think Sapwood is also good because it's his best craftable one. Uh, at level 90, the base attacks are into like the mid 500s and it gets up energy recharge, which is really, really good. So any of those four options, uh, Sapwood, Ally Flash, Skyward Blade, Aquila, um, or Mist Splitter. Yeah, see, even Chiori's weapon is like 542. So yeah, Mist Splitter with a base attack at 674 is phenomenal. So it's a, this number plus Bennett's own base attack. So you want to get him to level 90 to get that up as high as possible. Uh, if we go look back at his burst, because it's crowned at level 13, it gives a 119% attack bonus ratio, which is phenomenal. So Bennett's burst not only buffs, but it also heals, which is why him and Farina are very, very good together uh, because it allows for Farina's minions to suck HP and Benny to heal as well as giving an attack buff to the character on the field, right? So they're really, really good together. They work together very, very well. So... Chiori's attack is 1,342. If we go to Bennett, her attack is now 2,713. That is well over a 1,000 uh, attack buff given to Chiori. Now, another reason why that is so high is because of the No Bless artifact set. Using an elemental burst increases all party members' attack by 20%. So it's just doing more buffing. Now, because... Uh, Benny's buffing doesn't depend on artifacts. Running like an energy recharge sands is really, really good because it means that you'll be able to use his burst more. Um, and then everything else, pyro goblet, crit rate or crit damage, depending on what you need. Uh, but you do want some energy recharge because you want him to have as much energy recharge as you can. So that way you can have his burst more readily available off of cooldown. Now, if I wanted him to heal more than what he is doing, I could take his Pyro Goblet away and do like an HP Goblet. And you're going to be healing more because his healing is based off of HP. So you can build him as a buffer and healer fairly easily. Fairly, fairly easily. So I do want to go back in and take my Raiden Hyper Carry team uh, with the Bennett and the Sara and the Chevy. And see how high I can get Raiden's attack. This is now just to see, curiosity sake, because I never actually checked to see what I can get Raiden up to. Raiden's current attack right now is 1942. 1942. So first we're going to get Benny's burst ready to go, and then I'll go through my rotation. Let's light it up. You have 
Okay. So now we're gonna see. So we're gonna go here. Cause overload. Drop the burst. Do this. Uh, 4,435 attack. That that raised it quite a lot. Almost 20. That's 2,500 that it raised it. Now you shall perish. What was that? 300 and 380 something thousand on that? Which Shine is crazy. Down. So yeah, you can see how great of an attack buffer Benny is. He's great at healing, great at attack buffing, um, but a lot of people, or a lot of people that I've talked to, may not realize it is this white number, which is what I wanted to talk about in this video. It is not his overall attack like it is on Jean, which is what her healing is based off of. It is specifically this white number being the base attack. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys forgive me for not turning on the camera. I don't feel good. If you have any questions, do be sure to leave it down in the comments. Myself or somebody else, be sure to answer it, and I'll see you in the next one. Maybe you'll see me. Who knows?